Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about paratrooper balancing and how changing a main weapon created a little shitstorm in community. If you don't know what we're talking about, it's the Soviet paratroopers that can change their main weapon and literally be used in every single battle rating from BR1 to BR5 and they can pull out an RD44 from their supply crate and apparently mow down the whole enemy team. This is no longer possible because we have had an update with proposed way of balancing this issue, which is called matching weapons for paratroopers. And it works similar to automatic weapon presets we have now in the game uh, with few differences across different squads and the fact that it only matches the weapons in two different battle ratings which is battle rating 3 and battle rating 5. The squads in question that have received this change are both of the Soviet squads, the Event Fyodorov of the Mutt and the Premium AS44 as well as the Allied Event BSA squad and the Event M1A1 Carbine Squad and the last but not least Japanese Type 100 Rifle Squad. These are the only five squads that have had this change. All of the rest of the paratrooper squads have remained as they were. Now the Soviet paratrooper squads are the only squads in the game that can change their main weapon which determines their battle rating but for the other squads weapons can't be changed therefore they're locked in battle rating 2 which really doesn't mean anything because battle rating 2 plays with battle rating 1 and 3 and some of the battle rating 2 paratrooper squads are good enough to bring out even in battle rating 4 or 5 like the allied BSA squad since I can't stand most of the Tom on SMGs, i rather have a BSA well gun on me even in top tier. Since all of the noise was created because of the LMG RD44 in the Soviet paratroopers, I decided to take all of these five squads and drop down into the practice range and see what weaponry this new change gives for them for each of the battle ratings. So we're gonna start with the most recent one, which is the Soviet event paratroopers with the Fyodorov Avtomat in the hands when it's played in battle rating five at least. So for BR one to three, the LMG you get is the Matsen with the 25 round mag and then played into battle rating 4 to 5 you're still gonna get the RD44 with the 100 round mag which only makes sense now for the premium AS44 uh, squad you would think it's exactly the same but it's actually very different for battle rating 1 to 3 you're gonna get the DP27 with the 47 round mag and when played in battle rating 4 to 5, you're gonna get the DT29 with 63 round mag. So you can kind of see from the lower battle rating preset to the higher battle rating preset, what you get, you basically get larger rounds and probably a bit more head power. So now for the allies, the BSA squad, if played in battle rating 1 to 3, you will get the Bren Mark 1 with a 30 round mag. And if it's played in battle rating 4 to 5, you get the Johnson LMG with 20 round mag. And 20 round mag where it feels like a bit of a downgrade. This weapon is insanely accurate, insanely fast reloading, uh, insanely powerful. So uh, this is a massive jump from the Bren Mark 1. Now the M1A1 Carbine Squad, if it's played in battle rating 1 to 3, you will get the Browning M1918 with the 20 round mag and if it's played in battle rating 4 to 5, you will get the Browning M1919A6 with 100 round mag, which is a really really beasty weapon for, uh, for a top tier. Now for the Japanese Type 100 Rifle Squad, if it's played in battle rating 1 to 3, you will get the Type 11 LMG with 30 round mag and if it's played I'm gonna say battle rating 4 to 5 because Japan doesn't have battle rating 5 and they don't even have battle rating 4 LMGs you don't actually get LMG you get an SMG you get the new Tokyo Arsenal SMG 50 round mag uh, which is insane and uh, at, at least firing off in the test range it felt absolutely insane so yeah japan being the exception of getting an smg in top tier rather than an lmg 
from their paratrooper squads. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this system really works very similar as the automatic loadout for battle ratings, which we now have in the game. And uh, I'm just gonna go to a random machine gunner here and let's say you drop down with the paratrooper playing one to three you go to equip me best for battle rating three and this is literally what you get from the crate if you bring out the squad paratrooper squad in battle rating four to five boom you get the exact weapon you would get from the crate so you can almost you can almost really go through some of these and just let's say we have an anti-tanker here for soviets you drop with your uh, obviously paratroopers and then go like okay i want an anti-tanker playing one to three um you will get probably a panzerfaust 60 i didn't try but i'm guessing that's what you're gonna get if you play the same squad in four or five battle rating four or five and you select an anti-tank gunner you will probably get the Panzerfaust 100 so these are literally the, the the two different battle ratings they give you for these five squads of paratroopers with some differences as you've seen some of the um, uh, weaponry does differ but I'm pretty sure generally across the board it is very consistent so I hope this sheds a bit of a light on how the new battle rating affected weaponry choices for paratroopers work in uh, the game right now obviously those are the five only squads that are affected rest of them are exactly as they were but yeah that is where i'm gonna leave you guys thank you so much for watching it's been Romo socks i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye